Blessings and glory. We sent his giver and on, on power and might belongs to the Lord forever and ever. Hey. You 
a God from beginning to the end. There's no place so have you mad. You're a God all by your side. You're a God from beginning to the end. There's no place so have you mad. You're a God all by yourself. You're a God from beginning to the end. There's no place so have you mad. You're a God all by yourself. I see your glory, Lord, coming down from heaven. I see the angels, Lord, barring them. The host of heaven, Lord, falling down before you. Lord of creation, I give you all the praise. I see your glory, Lord, coming down from heaven. Angels, Lord, bowing down the day. The host of heaven, Lord, falling down before you. Rabbi, Lord of creation, we give you all the praise our day. You are holy, 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 Almighty God. Ha, ha. You are holy, 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 Almighty God. You, you are holy, 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 Almighty God. I love you, Lord, 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 Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Yes, I do. I love you, Lord. We do, we do. We love you, Lord, 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 Lord. We love you, Lord. Rapa senda. We love you, Lord. Lord, 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 we love you, Lord. Hey, hey, we love you, Lord. Hey, hey, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Lord, 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 love you, Lord. Man, man, no heart, that's him. I found you brought us. Man, man, no turn. That's a rabba sandala poco sondo. Man, man, no turn. That's a reke de bobo zinda. Man, man, no turn. That's a Jesus. Jesus, oh me can I am. I worship you today. Jesus. Oh, me can I ya? I bow before your throne, Jesus. Oh, me can I ya? I worship you today, Jesus. Oh, me can I ya? I bow before your throne, Jesus. Oh, me can I ya? I worship you today, Jesus. Oh, me can I ya? Jesus, oh me can I ya? I worship you today. Jesus, oh me can I ya? I bow before your throne. Jesus, oh me can I ya? I worship you today. Jesus, oh me can I ya? I bow before your toe. Tala pa fi obe. Tala le pa hodo ba. Tala pa fi obe. Tala le pa hodo ba da di. Holo ru to jodo ru lo. Tala pa fi obe. Holo ru to jodo ru lo. Tala pa fi obe. Tala pa fi obe da di. Tala le pa hodo ba. Tala pa fi obe.
Ogbe, Talole, Ba Odoma, Dadi, Olorun, Tojo Olorun, Lo, Talaba, Fi Ogbe, Olorun, Tojo Olorun, Lo, Talaba, Fi Ogbe, I never see anyone like you, Rabba, I never see anyone like you, Ladi, I never see anyone like you, Papa, I never see Anyone like you, daddy. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see, I never see. Oh, I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Rabba Sanda ya kala baba soto. Lege 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 do soto ya baba Sanda. Ragada baba suta ya baba soto. Join me tonight, join me tonight, join me tonight. Hey, let's recognize his lordship of our lives. Let's look back and look back. What he has done in our lives, I has rescued, I has delivered, I has promoted. Hey, let's give him thanks, let's exalt him. Let his praise not cease in our mouth. That is the reason we we'll live, that we we'll live with my worship him, so that we might worship him. He is the reason why we are living, he is the reason why you are still breathing for that reason let's exalt the king of kings let's exalt the man where is his name that is the confidence we have that we are not alone he is always with us he said he will not be us nor forsake us open your mouth people of god join me tonight oh rabako soto Kabakuzenda eke de bobozia na buka zanda yaga daga 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 masoto ragada baba soto ragada baba soto mege de gele baba soto ragada baba soto rege de baba soto ragada baba soto ragada baba soto ragada baba soto rege de gele baba soto ragada baba soto ragada baba soto ragada baba soto masanda yaba maleke de baba soto ragada baba soto ragada baba in Jesus name we are worship in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. I tell you, people of God, if there is not anything to take delight in your life, is the attitude of worship. Is the attitude of worship. Later on, we're going to be seeing into this study. But yes, I just feel in my spirit that let's exhort him. This is not the moment we begin to ask for things. I don't sense it this evening that we should begin to ask or and not ask for any request. But rather, let's come before him in praise and in worship. I tell you, it is more active than any other weapon of war. Let's open our mouth. Let's adore Jesus. Adore Jesus. Adore Jesus. The King of Kings is his name. Hey, him alone is worthy. He's a man that never lost any battle. Hey, Masoto, Yababa Soto. Soto. When we are confused, it's not confused. When we are weak and tired, it's never weary nor tired. Oh, when we are helpless, he never lacked help. Hey, he's enough that yes, he's sufficient for himself. Remember the song we took? He said, it doesn't need the man to be the God he is. He says, God himself, exalt him and give him praise. Exalt him, give him praise. Irregardless of that situation, it might not be working to your favor. Things might not be working out as expected. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Join me this evening. Adore the King of Kings. Give Jesus praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, Masoto, Yababa Soto. We are here, Lord. We give a praise. 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 Be that glory, great things you have done. Be the glory, great things you have done. Be the honor, great things you have done. Be all the worship. Rabako Soto, Yakala Masoto. Lega de Gedeva Soto, Yababa. Ragada Gadaba Soto. Hey, Masuda Yababa Soto. Rega de Gedeva Soto, Yababa Soto. We are here, Lord God, render praise and worship. Lord, we give you all the honor. We give you all the things. We give you all the adoration on the throne. We saw the kings that never gone to We saw the kings that sleep no 
of slumber, no other. We have saw the king that is never weary. We have saw the king that is never tired of hearing from us. Hey, we give a praise. Many a times men do not understand how we feel, but God does. Many a times we cannot even express our feelings. Hey, but God does. And that is why he's God. That is why he's a father. The song we took just now, it said, Jesus, Mekanaya, eh, Masoto, the one that treat us as a father, Masoto, Yababa Soto, Rakabako Soto. The Bible tells me in the book of Psalm 103, it says, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has pity on them that fears him. Hey, that is why you are here tonight, because you believe in the king, because you fear him, that is why you have come out to hear the word. Hey, exalt him, exalt him. I feel like worshiping him. Hey, I'm not in the mood to lead any prayer tonight. I just come in the years with that mood to worship. Hey, with the leading of the Holy Spirit to worship. Worship the he that sits on the throne. Worship him. Zantaya Baba Soto. He that is now Yazika Baba Soto. Baba Soto. Baba Soto. That does not get worn out. Oh, hey, Masoto. No, kings can be replaced. Hey, robbers can be replaced. Hey, but we saw the king. Hey, that is why he's called the internal rock of ages. Hey, he doesn't change. He remains the same. That is why he's called Masata Yababa Soto, Rakababa Soto. Hey, Yababa Soto, the mighty man of battle. Hey, Masoto Yakaraba Soto, Rakadaba Soto, Soto, Rakabako Soto, Regadaba Soto, Lakadaba Soto, Rakabakuza, Yakaraba Soto, Remosi Yababa Soto, Soto, Lababa Soto. Soto yababa soto ria baso do yababa ragada gada ma ni ke yababa soto yababa soto ragada baso do I tell you tonight forget the by your sickness forget the by your pressure you are passing to as you begin to worship him oh tonight I want you to begin to say this living your body hey are you in pain as you begin to worship him begin to feel yes yourself be relieved hey ma soto yababa ragada gada baso soto ragada baso do ragada baso soto are you in need as you begin to to join me tonight to begin to worship him. I see those needs being made. The Bible says uh, nothing good will be told from them that walk uprightly in him. And so therefore I see your needs being delivered into your hands tonight as you begin to worship him. I'm not asking you to ask him of that need. He already knows about it. Join me tonight to worship him. Render worship to him. If you are tired of the English language use your own local language. He understands all languages. After all he was the one that created that language. Hey Masuda Yaba Masanda ida baba zoto, rakaba kozoto ida baba zoto, masoto ida baba masoto, rakada gada 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 baba zoto, medida da 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 baba zoto, masida haba kozoto ida baba, makuta da 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 da, rakada gada 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 baba zoto, masoto ida baba zoto, rakada baba zoto, rakada baba zoto, medida gada baba zoto, rakada gada baba zoto, rakada gada baba zoto, rakada baba zoto, masanda baba zoto, rakada baba zoto. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I give a praise, Lord. I lift up your name on high. Blacks of your holy name. Glory to your holy name. I celebrate the king. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I say, I worship you tonight. Every mountain be brought low. Every mountain in that life be brought low. Every mountain in that life. Be brought low, Rakabako Soto Yadaba Soto. Just as you enter without knowing, so I address also you in the name of the Spirit. Yes, with the language of the Spirit. Masida Yapadaba Soto, Lagada Gada Gada Soto, Rigede Gada Soto, Soto, Rakadaba Soto, Soto, healing with that body, and the name of Jesus, deliverance of your prayers, courage to the weak, Masoto Yaba, Legade Gaba Soto, Soto, Rakadaba Soto, Ladada Soto, Hey Masoto. Rakaba kusata, rakaba basoto. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, unto the Lord shall the gathering of His people be. We are gathering together unto Thee. Kabiho otio, kabiho osi. Cabiosi, 
Kayar Bojo Kabio Hossi You are the God Darus Odiyed Kabio Hossi Kabio Hossi The confidence we have in you, Lord. God is what you record, Jehovah. What you say, you will do. The Lord that never leave us to forsake us. That is what you will do. That is what you record, Jehovah. You're talking and do. Hey, cool, amen. Ekueme, ekueme, ekueme. You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? Ekueme, 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 ekueme. You are the living God. Baba o eche ye, hola ya do se. Baba o eche, inu megata i Jesu megu ese, inu megata, inu mega yere, inu megata o pu i megu ese. He no megata who I say. He no megata ye baba me who I say. He no megata. He no mega yere. He no megata ye Jesus ma who I say. He no megata who I say. He no megata who I say. I'm your boy. I'm your boy. I'm your bow, bow no ye be Jesu. I'm your, I'm your bow. I'm your hair, I'm your seal, or say no ye be Jesu. I'm your, I'm your bow, Baba. I'm your bow, Daddy. I'm your bow, bow no ye be Jesu. Bow no ye be Jesu. Bow no ye be Jesu. Bow no ye be Baba. Bow no ye be Jesu. Bono ye bo eme o bono ye bi Jesu o bono ye bi Jesu o bono ye bi Jesu mo du ba Jesu eche mo du ba Jesu eche baba mo du ba Jesu rosoro mi da yo mo du ba Jesu eche eche baba mo du ba Jesu eche onoru mi Modu pa Jesu a she da te, Modu pa Jesu rosa ro mi da yo, Modu pa Jesu a she, Modu pa Jesu a she, a she all of me, Modu pa Jesu a she, eh, Modu pa Jesu rosa ro mi da yo, Modu pa Jesu a she. Domo, 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 papa. Rese o Jehovah. Aponi le reme o. Ati we me yaro, papa. Rese o ke no me vito ha. Domo, 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 papa. Rese o Jehovah. Aponi le reme o. Ati we me yaro, papa. Rese o ke no me rito ha, o ke no me rito ha, ke no me rito ha, ke no me hile kwe, ke no me hile kwe, o ke no me ha fiagbe, ke no me ha fiagba. Masanda ya baba sada, eh baba ne baba ni magata ha, raba koso po ya na baba zede, eh ameni gufi talk for the matter we de grand ah. For the good things we don't do for me and you, how many will feel remember? How many will feel count? How many will feel thank God for? Hey, they're too much. 
the two men who smoke will continue today. There is no way we can remember and we can thank him enough. I just feel like exalt him and I worship him. He is a mighty God. Him alone is worthy. Lord, we give you praise tonight. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Honor to your holy name. If there's anything we should not be tired of in this life, is giving you praise and worship. Lord, you are fought, you have delivered, you are rescued. My God, you are protected. Even when we were not faithful, you were faithful, Lord God. What they had of a lovely father you have to us also. Thank you, Jesus. In all this, you have shown us, especially we that our parents will show love, even when our children, Lord God, they are unloving. Thank you for the grace. Thank you. Lord, we have come again to hear your word. I ask you, God, you walk through me to reach your people. Walk through me, Lord God, to walk on wonders to mind. Lord God, Jehovah, we are friends who are worshiping. I thank you, Lord God, hand over everything into your hands. For your presence is what makes a difference. Thank you for uttering to mind. Thank you for uttering to mind. What we believe in God, there is nothing your work cannot do. In the midst of praising and worshiping you tonight, we will leave bodies as we lifted up, Lord God. Father, Lord God, barriers as we rode away, Lord God. Ways as we met the Father to that situation. Thank you, Lord God, for that letter that concerning Father from that walk that does not be encouraging. Lord, we stand to cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We stand to cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is telling me to tell someone, yes, we are about to receive good news. I don't care what somebody that told you concerning that job, it is not over. It is not over. We serve a God that has a final say. Rabba, so see, when one door closes, it's signal that another great door is about to open. And see, that you will believe us. We believe us. We believe us. We don't believe in dead end at all. What is a dead end? A place you get to that takes you to nowhere. No, no, that one. What God does not work with us like that. God always works in a way that He leads us to a place where the devil thought is finished. Immediately before you know it, another road will hope. That is a God who said. That is a good deal for somebody here tonight. I don't know how you have been so discouraged. I don't know how you have been so confused. I don't know. It's as if you are giving up. But God has sent me to say the name of the value to you this good news. God is about to open a new chapter. You know, our life is like a book. You look at what is I'm holding that. Yes, yes, it's like this book I'm holding. You know, to this two, a book, every year there has a new chapter. As a new chapter. So when one chapter close, he says that there is no other way again. You know, this one, okay, let me look for something else. Oh, yes. This was not planned. If not, I would have brought out a book that would have demonstrated it better. But just like, for example, look at what, for example, you know, there's, this is my, you know, my notebook. Our life is like a book that is be written. You know, for example, okay, look at my notebook. There are things that have been written concerning our lives. A time comes at what you finish, you fulfill this passage of your life, it is accomplished. And if you look down here, there's empty space. That is that at times in our lives, I said nothing is working at all. It is as if our life is empty. And you tarry, 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 in prayer, you pray, pray, pray. It's as if it becomes getting more emptier. Look at this. From this small space. Look, look at all what I've written. You that see this, all this I've written is, is you find things working out in our lives. If time comes out, what well, everything just went blank. Like you are seeing here, it's blank, nothing is written. And you open, you are thinking that God will make way. Before you know it, everything is becoming getting blanker and you know, more, you know, there is no way. I, I, I thought it would become better. It's like things are getting worse. Please don't, just relax. Before you know it, a new chapter will open. And you see that things begin to work out. If, if you see this one, huh, a lot of things have been written again. You see that things just begin to fall into place. That is the good news God is asking me to give to somebody tonight. You better be encouraged. The Lord is said to The Lord is said to The Lord is said to The Bible says, yes, so the upright is upright. And because you have chosen to be upright, to wait upon him with perfect that which concerns you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. What a mighty God will say. I just relaxed in him at the same time that I wanted to be relaxed with self-confidence. He is the one that's, that orchestrated your life. He is the one that is ahead of the journey of your life. He will not abandon you on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Tonight, we want to look into the word of God. Thank you very much. You have made yourself available again tonight. Every Wednesday, you have made it as a point of duty to be around. I really appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you. And the reason why this... You know, this online Bible study continues because if you are not here, uh, this, this thing will be meaningless. My time spending, you know, spending my time to prepare notes, study so that I come with something meaningful every Wednesday, it will be useless. You are the reason why this 
Bible study continues. I really want to appreciate you for it. Thank you very much. And to those of you that have been praying for us, I appreciate you. The prayers are working. The prayer, and if you are following us, you can tell the prayers are working. And so I want to encourage you, please pray for us. We convert your prayers. Thank you very much. God bless you. Not anything good. The devil wants to fight. That is the truth. And so, but if you continue to pray, there is no way the devil can overpower we with the Christians. Thank God for that. Thank God for Jesus. And those of you that has been commenting, I thank you very much. I really appreciate from the depth of my heart. Many a times, I might not be able to reply each comment. But just know you are recognized. You are acknowledged. At times, I acknowledge it late. Please pardon me. Forgive me. Because at times, there are a lot of things that needed to be attained to. Not that you are ignored. Pardon me for that. I'm sorry. And again, to those of you that have been sharing my videos, Please continue sharing. As I always say, we are working as partners. When I prepare the notes, I come to tell you, share it. We all know we are working together. At the end of the day, there is no way you will not receive your own blessings. Because it is not every one of us that has been assigned by God to preach the gospel or to teach the Bible. No, there are some that is not their gifting, that is not their calling, that is not what God has asked you to do. But when you go to share, also your benefits will not you know, leave you at the end of the day. Thank you tonight. God bless you. Amen. And so tonight we're going to, okay, before we look into the work, Oscar, I want to use the opportunity to say thank you to our subscribers in our YouTube channel. Bishop Awode, thank you very much. Family matters. Every Saturday, for you to know, as I said, every time we convert your prayers, pray for us. For you to know that your prayers are working. If you see lately, there have been a little uh, a, a changes to the way we used to, you know, uh, upload videos and um, uh, release the videos into public view. And you see, this day we try to meet up with, you know, uh, the schedule as promised every Saturday. So I tell you, it can only be the grace of God because many a times, many things come up. But God has seen us with wisdom. Thank you very much for your prayers, for your encouragement. Those of you that always drop your comments, those of you that are always watching our videos. It doesn't mean that we have the perfect, we are the ones that are perfect there on YouTube. But you watching it is a way of you learning and also encouraging us. We want to say thank you. And case you have not subscribed, please do and endeavor also to share our videos to others also they can learn. Or no, or what does it entails? It has to do with family issues. Family issues, things are happening in homes today. Please let's not be deceived by the smiling face, husband and wife, yet when we are outside. No, many homes they are the verge of collapsing. Inside the man and the woman know what they are facing. But some of them pretend so much that they don't even allow the children that they stay in the same under the same roof with them to even know because they feel they don't want to hurt the feelings of the children. And outside that, even outside in the world, they don't want the people to know. Even what I'm talking about, even is so called Christian dog. A lot of battles are going on in homes, in families, in marriages. So for we to fight against it, that is why the essence of family matters. And you know, when our family is being put in order, there is no way the society will not function well. Because the society as a result of many families coming together, a combination of different homes. That is what makes, at the end of the day, makes a nation. That is what makes a nation. So if my home is okay, yours is okay, the other sisters and the other brother is okay. You see, at the end of the day, we have a beautiful nation to live in. We know there is no way to be no fighting, you know, devouring one another. So we have to attend to those things. That is why this family matters has come. It's all about. So please help us to save the general public. Thank you very much and God bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So back to the work is on ground today. What does God have for his people today? Hallelujah. And Amen. what we have written here is that how to activate God's presence. How to activate God's presence. And if you have been following love for a while, you will discover that we have been dealing for on a topic, we you know, uh, handling a topic for a while which has to do with God's presence. God's presence, praise the Lord, the presence of God, you know, is surrounding or uh, you know, around uh, over us. You know, you know, feeling is you know, be being around us. So that is what we saw, you know, when we talk about his presence, that is not being absent. I know we have learned a lot in this direction. And so having seen the meaning of his presence, and we have been able to see, you know, uh, you know, how does this presence for one to see tonight, how to activate his presence. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How to activate his presence. What do we need to do, you know, for this his presence to come into our lives? 
What do we do, need to do? It's not just enough to know that we need God's presence in our lives. But we need to know how. How does this God's presence come into our life? And you know, when we are talking about God's presence as that, it is not something we should have off and on. No. We are supposed to dwell in His presence. It's supposed to be our lifestyle. When you are sleeping, you are in His presence. When you are walking on the road, you are in His presence. When you are eating on the table, you are in His presence. When you are in the toilet, even you know, doing the normality, asking the call of patient, you are supposed to be in His presence. All this is very important in our life. But how do we bring about this His presence in our life? So we want to see that tonight. And number one, I have written here is as continuous praise. How to activate God's presence? How do we bring about God's presence in our lives? How can we see His presence functioning in our lives? Number one, I have written here now, continuous praise. Continuous praise. If you look at the way I wrote it, continuous. It's not something we do once in a while. It has to be what a continuous process. Because we we'll live, I've come to discover that we believers, we want to be like the world. Why do I say so? You know, the way the world is going now is at a fast, at a very fast speed. Faster speed than ever before. Everything is just like, you know, what they call the jet age. You know, at the snap of our finger, we want to get things done. Before we look here and that things done, you know, this has happened. You see, our phones today, they will, today is iPhone level. Today is, you know, different levels. You know, it's just a way, you know, just tap the phone, it, it zoom off. So, this day also, we want our, this, our lives also to happen like that as believers. So, most of the times, we just want, when we receive the things, you know, come, uh, what is that called, directions from the world in the house of God, when we get to the church, the pastor teaches us, we want to just do these things once and we expect results. No, my dear darling, I'm, you know, sorry to tell you tonight that God does not work that way. And you cannot force God to come to your, to, to, how will I say, to, 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 to your agreement. You will not come, force God to come to your level. So, you know, what you, your, what you have aligned for him and say, God, this is how I want it and this how it should be done. No, 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 no. None of us can manipulate God to do what he's not supposed to do or the way we want things to be done or when we want things to be done. That is why he's God. He's not a man. He do, you know, he goes to do whatever thing he wants to do, the time he wants to do it, where he wants to do it, and to whosoever he wants to do it for. So we must get that clear if we want to stay with God. It's really those of us that have made up our mind that we don't have any alternatives. So if we want the presence of God upon our lives every time, we must learn other attitude. Please get it that is an attitude. You just make it a big part of your life. Continuous praise. Continuously. Let's look at the Bible. As of 16 verse 25. He has some people I don't know how to sing praises. That is why I thank God that God has uplifted other men and women of God that they sing praises, you know, is on, on CDs. And thank God for YouTube these days. Thank God for the Android phone. Thank you. Thank you know, thank God for all this. You just go on YouTube, you just tap it out, and uh, you just tap it out, uh, out any praise you want to. Do, and you see all of them coming online and just switch, you just press it and it, the praise continue. Like that you can learn, like that you can flow with. So you see this day we don't have excuse. We don't have any excuse. Because there are things that praise is doing in our life that giving does not do. There are things praise is doing in our life that prayers cannot do. So in the kingdom, everything has its own, you know, has its own parts. It's as we are we are giving for sure. That is what we are praise is function. As chapter 16 from verse 22. If you are there before me, you can help me out and try to get there. I'll see it from verse 22. Go ahead, Ma, thank you. Okay. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailers to keep them safe. Having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the storm. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praise unto God, and the prisoners held them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loose. Thank you, my it's okay. Praise the Lord. Who are we talking about here? Is 
Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. Look at the story very well. From verse 22, was started. The Bible says what happened. They were not, and actually, the story started before 22. And what was happening there is that they went out to preach a war and they got them attacked. The enemy got them at that, and yeah, where we started from, we recorded that they beat them up, Paul and Silas. And if you look at it very well, the Bible says they gave them a lot of stripes, many stripes. That's Koboko. They used that beat them where well, where. Well. well, now come they preach Jesus here because they have won them, and they, you know they gave them the beating of their life. And as if that was not they not they threw them inside prison without treating those those marks those injuries on their body they threw them inside prison. So please get this clear. This was a scenario that was not encouraging. See if you have been done before, if you have been discouraged before, I've had the believers and say I'm tired of serving God. I can no longer come to church services. I can no longer partake in the Bible study. I can no longer pray or fast. All because what well, the situation is not favorable. Who said you need situation to be favorable to save God? If you're always looking for time when things will be okay before you serve God, I tell you you cannot go far with Jesus. The Christianity you and I we have been called to is not bread and butter. The Bible said the kingdom of God is not what is not meat and drink. It's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So there are times that things will come up that are not favorable to us. And in the midst of it, does God still expect us to, to serve him? And also to lift up our, open up our mouth and give him praise. The Bible said these people were beaten, given the serious beating of their life. And threw inside jail. And when we talk about prison, this prison was not comfortable. It's not some of the European prisons and the American prisons they, they, they give them bed, they go, they serve them dinner, they, them, they go, they sleep for, they, so, 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 for cushion. As I had the story of a woman, he just came back from prison and he started misbehaving on the street. And they were cautioning him. And so they had to call him. Every now and then, he always going to prison. So they had to ask him. I said, are you not tired of this prison? Would you plan your life? He answered them that he knows that when he's in the prison, he doesn't pay this. He doesn't pay rent. He doesn't need money to feed himself. So he just believed that that prison is more comfortable for him living outside. Because what is comfortable for him. Let me make that man go try Nigeria prison, huh? For what try Nigeria prison, may no eye go arrange itself when he come out. Or not say kakin of the leather. So also, you know, this prison they threw them to it was not a conducive environment. But the Bible record it was in a prison. But so that I'm bringing out here is that these people they knew their God. My question to you tonight: Do you know actually know the God you are serving? How long have you gone with this Jesus? In the midst of Israel, then we read just in that prison. You know, there are some situations we feel will just be there because it's not comfortable. We we'll just be moody, just keep quiet, looking down. Rather, this people, the Bible said they open their mouth and begin to sing praises to God. They begin to have all the name of Jehovah. They begin to keep calling all great names. They begin to dance and celebrate. And look at the end of the day, the Bible says the foundation of the prison was shaken. Remember, we are talking about the presence of God. How to activate the presence of God. For the foundation of the presence of God, that's what God came down. His presence came down and took over the prison. To the extent, the Bible said, their feet were all head on the stock. That is, it was head down. When we say, the North people are cut from where they, where they, where they uh, hold them with their leg put. But because the foundation of the prison were shaking, God's presence was here, the bounce, the Bible said, was broken loose. They, they became free. I don't know what you are trying to do to set you free. I don't know what you are doing about that condition that will bring you liberty. And one of the things you will do continuously to, for you to have that victory you have been having is praises, my dear. It's praises. Men may not understand. You know, let's be sick and tired of always looking for men for help. Look at the situation here. Where Paul and Silas found themselves, it was a situation there was no help from no man. Nobody. It was Jesus that could help them at that situation. I don't even know whether the other apostles knew whether they were there. I don't even know. It was Jesus they knew that could help them. And when they look up to him, at the end of the day, they did what was needful. Praises. Please, you must understand as a Christian, every time of our lives is not always going to be a sweet journey. If we preach, I will preach every time to you that it's always going to be sweet. We are deceiving you. And so that is why we try to balance it. There are times that only Christianity, you know, everything will go where they are times is all apart. See, for you being a Christian, it doesn't deny you of challenges. That is why, thank God, in the church of Solomon, we are teaching temptations. 
It comes. It's a part of life. The only difference between we Christians and the people that doesn't know Jesus is that we have the power to overcome. And what's the power? We have the power of the Holy Ghost. That is why you cannot serve God with your flesh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you see the situation of this point. The Bible said they praise God. And the presence of God, God came down and the foundation was shaking. And at the end of the day, they were set free. Then another thing I want to say here is that now I'll be talking about we praising God when the situation is not favorable. When you are praising God, when the situation is not favorable to you, is that what the Bible calls is sacrifice of praise. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Hebrews 13, 15. Sorry, 13, 15. You are there before me. Can I help me out, please? Hebrews 13, 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, this let's see second Samuel 24, verse 24. Second Samuel 24, verse 24. Hebrew 13, 5. Second Samuel 10, uh, 24, 24. 24, 24. Yes. Okay, thank you, man. Praise to Lord. Well, let me bring the two verses together. That's why I said we should read it together. Let's go back to uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. We read. He said, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. That's to so say, in essence, what uh, Apostle Paul is saying here in the book of Hebrews is that the sacrifice we offer to God. That it should be at times it can be of you know, uh, sorry the praise to offer to go at times it can be as a result of sacrifice. What is sacrifice? That is why I took out to Second uh, Samuel chapter twenty four verse uh, twenty four. Then he told Aaron, I said I will not offer to God that which will not cost me anything. So I want to sacrifice in essence it means that anything you do that is not convenient for you, anything you do that is not convenient for you, anything you do that is not convenient for you. You, you know, it, 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 it's, it's as if you, you, you know something is going out of you. It's as if it's making you restless. It's as if, you know, it's like maybe, for example, you want to give. And that money you want to give, you need something else, very important to use it for. But I said something came up that, you, you know, you just have to let it go. You see, at that time, it's sacrifice you are doing, you are rendering. It's sacrifice. So that was happening, what was happening in the case of David. Second uh, Samuel chapter 24, verse 24, we read. I would not want to give him the place. He said, no, I will not. I have made up my mind. You see, where most of our offerings, you know, at first, we will say we give offerings to God. We give thanks. The question, we, we did not receive our blessing in return. The question I think we should ask ourselves is that, was that really a sacrifice from us? Was that really something that, when he left you, you felt something inside of you? You say, most of the times I look at this life man, David, called David. There is no way God wouldn't have blessed David. There is no way. See, at times we just see that the blessings of God come unto everybody. Yes, see, there are levels of God's blessings. I quite agree with you. There are the blessings that God releases for everybody. Even whether you are a Christian, you are a believer, you are, you, are, you, are, you are a Muslim, he releases that blessing upon you, upon your we all. There is another level of blessing, just because you are a Christian, can release really, because you are a son of his children of Israel. But there is other levels of blessings that what it calls us sacrifice. It's as a result of what you have done that makes us blessings to come upon, upon you. And that is the level most of us Christians we have not attained. That is more the level most of all we attain, and because the sacrifice is too much that is expected from us, we fall back again. Look at David, there's no way God would have blessed his son. He said, I have made up my mind. I will not offer any that. That's to say, not once in a while. You know, they get the way some of us do one. Once in a while, we offer what he, what he pay us. The other time, we, no, you have to say, I will not offer to God anything that will not cost me something. 
that each time this man brought something before God is something that what that that that, that, that effects. He knew that something was leaving him. So why we God not bless me? My mom was used to say that what well, now the way person take you now, so you they take him. When on my job I The way we take God, that is how God goes to take us in return. So back to what we are saying, not that we are deviating, but just see that what I you drop those ones and make it work for us. We are sacrifices to God. So back to what we are saying, you know, talking about some things that need to pay you, that has to leave you. So also, you know, time when we praise God, it is not easy for us. You are feeling pains all over you, but you still just have to dance. You still have to sing. You still have to open your mouth and, you know, sing those praises. There are times that was, you know, the rain, the bees are piled off. They rented you have not paid. But you see, after you see, go to the church and dance, you know, and celebrate God. And nobody knows what is actually happening. You know, at that extent, you are doing God is looking at from heaven and saying, You mean the midst of all this, this my daughter or my son is still faithful. Ah! Immediately send an angel and say, Ah! Angel Gabriel say, Yes, sir. Can you see what I'm seeing from uh, seeing down here uh, 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 on earth where my, uh, my daughter is? Quickly! Bring that pastor she has been crying for. Send it to her. That is how miracles come. That is how breakthrough. Not our murmuring. Not our complaining. See, everybody has issues. I've come to discover in life. Don't just conclude yours is a special case. For the first person not to come, I know they say not get what they pass through. Somebody says that what well, there are three stages in my life. And what are the three stages? One is that what well, either is what well, he just came out of trouble, challenges. Or uh, it's about to enter challenges or into challenges. Three stages in the mass life. So as we overcome one, it's a way of forming not to face another one. Till we die, there is nothing we do about it. So if you are always taking upon yourself until you are, things are okay before you will rejoice and serve God, you will praise Him. There is no way you can praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about sacrifice of praise here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So another point I want us to, okay, let's look at that back in fact, I love this place. I love this place very, very well. Abaku chapter 3 from verse 17. Abakok chapter 3. Verse 17. Yes. Seventeen. What she said was, Other the fig tree shall not blossom. Listen, though. Know, in case you say now that you get a problem. Although the fig, shall not, fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vine, and labor of the olive shall fail, and the fish shall yield no meat, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no egg in the stalls. Look at what this is. Verse 18 says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will draw in the God of my salvation. What is the situation of this farmer? Remember in the Bible days, they had no other work. Their work was farming. And also that is raising of crops in the farm and also taking up care of livestock, animals. That was their all, all they, what they need to do in their lives. Well, you see his life of a farmer. Because he, he, he so knew he's going to be devoted to God. He said that what well, I have labored, I have worked out on my feed. I expected something to come out. About my animals, I expected them to be children. But at the end of the day, there was nothing to show for it. Look at the situation. He said, although the fig tree shall not blossom. Not only the fig tree, everything is like going down. Look at what he says. Say, neither shall the fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fish shall yield no meat. The flock, not be only say, now let the feed. Only farm, no things, no go get, get head. Even the animal, you know, in life, now when one way you know what you will see, put time for this one. Say, and where this one's not come here, and people But this situation of this guy here, he says that well, nothing is working out at all. The feed is not good fruit, the animal not present. But look at his lifestyle, look at what he has determined his mind to do. Verse 18, he said, Yes, I will rejoice in the Lord, I will join in the God of my salvation because he has come to see that what is success in life, what will sustain his life, is not what the fig tree can produce, it's not what the olive tree can you know give him. That is not what sustains him. What is sustaining him is that what is a God he knows. He said, I will join in the God of my salvation. I have come to understand God that even when things are not working, and if I can praise, if I can rejoice in it, there will be ways made out. Open doors. Things will speak, you know, fall into my favor. Things will speak to my favor. Then look at verse 19. He said, the Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like his feet. 
No, for the God to be his strength in the midst of this situation, it shows that what the presence of God was resting upon him. If I say something is my strength, me that that thing is that you know that thing is present in me. I can suddenly be my strength when it's not within me. So that is to say that you know, as a result of it praising him, the presence of God took over him. And there is no way God will not make things to fall into place. And I see you not be left out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord will establish his presence in our mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Situation will no longer determine whether we praise our God or not. Amen. In the midst of that trials are released upon you, strength to serve God, Amen. strength to worship God, Amen. strength to praise Him. Amen. The Bible said they look up to Him, their faces were lighting, and they were not ashamed. Amen. The joy of the Lord become your strength. Amen. Jehovah carry you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Then the next when I have here, remember we are looking on how to activate his presence. Uh, how to, I hear somebody, God is asking me to tell somebody, you have been praising God, you have been praising God. Why I'm teaching you, are you asking yourself that, but this presence I've been doing it. But things has remembered to say, God is asking me to tell you that what continue. 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 You know, the worst thing, the worst like the devil can lie to us is that when we are doing things right and we are not yet seeing results, it makes us to believe you are doing the wrong thing. Mm. Mm. See, anything you see in this Bible mm. that is right, God asks you to do, mm. and you are doing it, yet you have not seen it. I want to encourage you, darling, continue. Sweetheart, continue. God is about to open the doors. Mm. And when he does, it's in a greater way. My Bible tells me, as I say, I have not asked you to seek me in faith. Are you the tribe that have been giving, 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 and there is nothing to show for you? Hey, Master Talaba Zodo. The heavens are warming up. I tell you, when God died to open the heavens, people are going to ask you whether you go do ritual. Mm -hmm. Are you the child that is always wanting to meet other people's needs? Relax. It's as if nobody is asking you. Continue. No way we make mistakes. The things that we do not know since that all. We become weary. Become tired. And the Bible said, be ye not weary in well doing. And why did God say so? Because you know our times will be weary. We are human. Yes, it is not a sin to be weary, but don't stay weighed. You understand? Being you, I cannot tell you tonight and say, if you are weary, it is a sin. Never you will. No, no. It, 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 it will come. It will come. You know, this is a challenge of the human flesh. But don't stay there. Shake it off. Shake it off. I say, no, I refuse to yield to this. I just continue because that is what God expects of me. And the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 3. He said, if the cloud be filled with rain, he said to pour. That's normally the cloud that in science we were made to understand. This rain that we see that it falls, how does rain fall? It's as a result of the evaporation that happens here on earth from the sea, from any water bodies, any all this pool of water. If some don't eat and eat and the, you know, the, 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 this thing, the air will go up. All those ones, those are the ones that go to pile up in the sky. That at the end of the day, when the, when the sky don't go on, you know, if you're lying, they go release us rainfall. That's how we see rainfall. That's, it is normal that when the sky is filled up with those air that comes to accumulate, one day it will pour. So also your blessing, but if it does not come, it doesn't mean you are doing the wrong thing. It doesn't mean that what result is not coming. It doesn't mean that, you know, God is not about to answer you. The result has not come because it may be it is not yet enough. At the appointed that the Bible said, though the vision tarries, it said it will speak. Mm. And I see you're speaking in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah. I see that blessing buried beneath in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I see that those clothes will be open in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But my question to you tonight, will you wait? Will you wait? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's an individual decision. Others might not have waited. But dear, wait. Remember the story of the ten virgins in the Bible. The Bible said five were foolish, five were, five, were, five were wise. It's a personal decision. Don't, don't be deceived. Don't be manipulated. Jesus is faithful for his word. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's see the next point we'll have to see to activate the presence of God as we call it a day tonight. But before we do, the few minutes we'll have less. Let's please look at the second point I wrote here. Consistent prayers. Consistent prayers. Consistent prayers. Consistent or continuous prayers. Anyone you feel like you can put the continuous prayer. You know, tonight, while preparing this topic, I just felt like using those, you know, those words consistent or continuous. 
If you look at when I said about praise, I talk about continuous praise or consistent praise, you know. Why do I say so? Just like I said initially, is that things, we need to do things again and again to see results. We need to do one thing again and again in the Christian door to see results. Yes, that is what I've needed. My little time with God, work with God, I've come to discover most of the times there are things you need to repeat again and again. It might be obedience. God asking you to do one thing again and again and again and again and again before you see results. Mm. Look at the life of Abraham. He didn't just obey once before he saw results. Bible says, leave your father's heart. He has to leave. That is number one, obedience. Number two, sacrifice, you know, sacrifice your son. Do this one. Do the other one. Do this. Yeah, you have to obey. I'll be, uh, no, even before he sacrifice his son, what is that? That's a concession. On and on like that. Before he got his results. So no just look at like say uh, whether God na tete or I will call her na gay. You just shoot down once you get no, it's not like that. So don't be tired. So let's see this one continuous prayers. Let's see back to where we read Acts chapter 16, verse 25. We are visiting that place again. Acts chapter 16. Verse 25, where we read about praises, where we pick up prayer. Remember two things the Bible said, Paul and Silas did there. It was the only praises that brought the deliverance, that brought the presence of God unto them. But let's see another thing they did there. Bible mentioned prayers. Acts 16, verse 25. I read, it said, And at midnight, remember before this verse 25, verse 23, talk about they have been beaten with stripes. Verse 23, let me, okay, let me just go back. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Who having received such a shout, throws them into the inner prison and made their feet stop, fast in the stock. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, watch verse 25, prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoner heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken. I mean, immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bands were loosed. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Before I explain this, God just means start something to me. So I should ask somebody a question. Whoever told you in doing the right thing that you will not be afflicted? You know, at times some of us, we are beginning to think that, is it maybe because of what I'm doing that is, is wrong? That is why affliction is coming. No. In the kingdom, in fact, the more you are right with God, the more they try us, the more they tell because the devil wants to distract you. The devil wants to weaken you. The devil wants to discourage you. Look at Paul and Silas. What attracted them to be beaten? In fact, the Bible said their clothes were even were torn and thrown into the prison. Well, not the evil they did, though. It was as a result of going to preach the gospel. Is it not what God sent us to do? The Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 28, it said that he, he said, going into the world and preach the gospel. And make disciples of men of all nations. Acts chapter 1, verse 6 says, You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be a witness of me in Judea, in Samaria, and other part uttermost parts of the earth. You see, it is what God said that JJJ, that is what this is what we are doing. And the enemy went after them. So, in case you are receiving an attack or pressure, it doesn't mean you are on the wrong side. It's just going to tell you that you are doing the right thing. And the enemy wants to frustrate your effort. I mean, your effort not be frustrated in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I just believe that this word is particular for somebody. Because while I was reading it, the, the Spirit God asked me to pause. Lord, I'm sorry for that, but I didn't pause. I just said, okay, because of time, let me rush it. But when I did finish reading it, my Spirit referred me back and said, say, say this to my people. That is what I'm saying to whosoever that these words belong to. Perhaps you are feeling you are doing the wrong thing. Well, no, you are not doing the wrong thing. Continue. You are just doing the right thing, serving God. And you will be wondering, and say, why is this thing, temptation to need to increase? I'm like, I'm fed up. The more I try to please God, the more the trials, God said, be encouraged. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And victory will be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So back to what we we're saying, Paul and Silas, you know, praying. The Bible said they prayed and they sang praises. And that prayer, they prayed. They were going to believe it was once. It was a continuous one. Because if their praises was a continuous one, their prayers also should have been a continuous one that brought the deliverance. So you that have been praying, my dear, please continue. Please continue. The deliverance comes. Because when you are praying, you are inviting his presence. As we read, the Bible says, as they were singing praise, the foundation of the prison was shaking. The presence of God came. So one of the ways we have can trust the presence of God is through prayers. And that is why you go to ask a pattern concerning the life of Cornelius. The Bible says that where he was fasting and praying, the angel of God came. You know, when we talk about the angel of God, we are talking about the presence of God that came upon this man and gave him direction not to call one copy and all that he needs to do. 
So your, your, your time of prayers is a way of inviting the presence of God upon your life. That is why you see in an environment whereby prayers has been made and made in that place, there is a power you feel when you get to that place. It's just like our homes. If you are the type that always pray in your house, pray in your house, pray in your house, nobody can come to that house and perform nonsense. There is no way any of, anybody that comes, people that come, see, what we don't notice is that people that come at, at times to us, is people that come, have the same spirit with us. Maybe your church member, the, you know, those that are genuine, they come into that environment with you for just so. Let an evil person come to that environment whereby you have been praying. You see that it cannot endeavor to stay there. Because there's that place has been shut up with the presence of God. Mm. And it has no other alternative than to run out. That's why you see some people, you invite them to your house, they don't want to come again. You invite them to your car, they want to go, because they are seeing what you are not seeing. So please be encouraged. Be encouraged and continue in praying. Very, very important. That is what makes it different. Now, finally, before I see, uh, round up to mine, is that when you look at Acts chapter 12, verse 1, because... Even when we're talking about the presence of God upon our lives, coming upon our life through prayers, you know, at times I've come to discover you praying for yourself alone might not actually make enough of the presence of God you need at times for signs on situations. I don't know if it has happened to you that you pray for signs on situations, there's no way out, you know, not that you don't carry the presence of God, but at times we need extra grace, we need other people to join us with prayer. That is why I encourage as this juncture, my dear brethren. Please let not all just be sufficient. Are you a man of God? Look for other men of God that's, that has the same vision. So don't ever have the mindset that everybody is evil. See, anytime we have the conclusion, maybe in the church gathering, you feel that this one not good, this one not good. Not that the devil is aiming at your destruction. You know, one way the devil destroys somebody in Christianity is that he makes sure that you know you start walking alone. And it's very, very dangerous. Each time he wants to strike. He, 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 you know, he alienates the person, separates the person from others. Mm -hmm. Have you not experienced in your marriage, those of us that are married, if you see that any times what, you know, he, he, he separates you from your spouse because he wants to strike. My father, the Bible said, is that in chapter 4? He says, it's no good. No, even, you know, Genesis chapter 2, God says that it's not good for a man to live alone. And when we go to Ecclesiastes chapter 4, as I said earlier on, I say, what to him that is alone? For when one for the other, there is no one to raise him up. Because God knew that at every point in time in our lives, no matter how powerful a man or a woman is, there are times you are with, there are times you might experience fall. You need somebody. You need somebody. That is why at times we need others to pray for us, to bring down the presence of God upon our lives. Let's see the book of Acts to confirm what I just said. Acts chapter 12. Let's see our, our powerful brother in the Lord. The person of Peter, he's not the great apostle. Look at what happened to him. Let's see. Uh, verse 3, because of time. See, and because he saw this talking about Herod, Herod was in charge in those days, and he took James, he killed him. And verse 3 says that, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him on and on, let's see verse 5. Peter, that is verse 4, say he kept him in prison. Verse 5 says, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made with that season of the church unto God for him. You want to tell me when Peter was there in the prison, this guy never prayed. Of course, he had prayed. Remember, he was Peter, James, and John, they were the closest disciples to Jesus when he was here on earth. He saw how Jesus prayed. These were people that went to Jesus and said, Lord, teach us how to pray. So when he was in problem, he already knew what he, he should do. That he needed to pray. So I don't believe that Peter was just in that prison deep pray. He should have prayed. But his prayer alone could not rescue him. He could not rescue him. Please let's stop this pretense. I and me alone, my Christianity. No, it will not take us far. Let's go ahead. The Bible says that verse 12 read. He said, But the pretty the church has to lift him in prayers continuously before God. It was again and again. Remember what we were talking about continuous prayer that bring, up, bring down his presence. And what happened? The Bible says, of course, of time we cannot read the lengthy story. And you see, verse 5. Let's see verse 7. It said, and behold, verse 7, and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Guide up 
of thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he said unto him, Cast thy garments. You see, on and on like that, Peter was finally delivered. He was locked in the prison. Though he prayed, it was not enough. Until the prayers of the church. The Bible said the church prayed with tough season. Mm. I want to ask you a question. Who is praying on behalf of you? Mm. Have you ever asked yourself that question? Why, why, why are that problem tarried so long? Why is it lingering? Who are those that are bringing you up continuously before God day and night? We need each other. You know, the devil understands this bond of unity. That is why he's fighting the Christian dog. That is why he's fighting the church. We live in a church whereby you see this one, in a church that this one does not talk to this one. So that if we cannot agree physically, then you will not believe we agree spiritually. I don't believe in that. Bible said, can two walk together? I said they agree. Have you not seen in life, in, in, in normal life, is that what? Well, before you start agreeing with people spiritually, physically, you must have physical contact. That's how I say. You know, you just know physically, maybe in you, GC. You just I like this person's spirit. Before you know your spirit has in you the, the way the person talks, you just feel that I, I like the way this person appears, I like the way this person talk and everything. But you know, spiritually people have connected. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me that people you don't agree, I, agree with that you are working with unforgiveness with you want to tell me you are praying for that person? You are less of deceiving ourselves now. Nah. I just I pray for me, I pray for you, I pray for you. If we call the kind they the, 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 the cover us on this, and we know the truth by ourselves. If I don't agree with you, there's no way I can pray for you. That is the truth. Because in the, because I only I inside my mind is angry with anger towards you. Why don't let, let's say to this difference? And I've come to discover in Christianity what causes difference at times, you know, that leads to hatred, and at times it's not even a major issue. At times it's not major issue. Even when there are major issues, can't we let go? If God is saying this is not good for us, why should we hold on to it? I just want to look at the, the, the situation of Peter. Hey, excuse me, this Peter has quarreled with everybody in, in the church before he went to Toji. He got dead here. All this, I don't need anybody, I need anybody. Now, lie, oh, we need one another. He would have died yet. The Bible said it was a prayer of the church that delivered this man. They had to pray for him. So you need the presence of God in some situation. You need people that will pray. You need others that will pray. God will help us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And before I round up tonight, I just feel like asking this question. Who will they pray for? Yeah, we need people to pray for us. You said, who are you praying for? Because it's supposed to be my sword that shall live in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Mm. Let learn to so prayers for others so that when situations happen, God will raise up people that will so prayers for you also. And that's happened to me. God has led me to pray for people I don't even know. I don't even know. Their picture will fly to my eye. To my eye. Like, in fact, this afternoon, some, one, one happened. Though I know this one, that's long I have heard from her. God said, pray for her against it. But one way or the other, I've been so busy, I don't remember. But towards, when I was preparing the notes, you know, this afternoon, towards this evening, to teach tonight, the thing came back to my spirit. And what I want to do this tonight is that when I'm praying tonight, that is one of the things I will bring before God. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now you that is not praying, I'm here to tell you, you are walking on a dangerous ground. You're like somebody that is sitting on a, 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 a what is it? Suicide, suicide bombing. A keg of down on my car, explode anytime. Don't be deceived. All this one they are telling you that you don't need to pray. Uh, you don't pray, pray, you don't tire. Hey, 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 excuse me. You are walking on a dangerous ground. Hey. People will pray. They not they see they struggle before they succeed. Not the talk of who not pray. If there's any time we should pray, it's now. It's now. And don't be tired. That's the, that is one of the keys. I cannot say it's the only key. Prayer is not the only key, it's one of them. You cannot overemphasize it. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the holy communion. You know our uh, our tradition in this ministry is that when we come together like this, we take the Holy Communion and thank God for His presence. And please, I want you to take it by faith. Don't just say every time we take it. No, remember what we have been saying. Don't be tired of doing what we are we have been asked to do. Our Father, we give you praise. We exalt you. We release your power and your presence to this Holy Communion as we take the drink. Lord God, Jehovah, may you wash away every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I speak to that light, that light that is confused. I don't know, somebody's hearing me this evening. There is a decision you want to take, and you are confused. I pray that God should make it clearer to you to take the right decision concerning that matter. I come against every spirit of indecision. In fact, there is a decision you want to take. People are waiting for you, and you are confused. You don't know whether this one or do this one, do this one, and do this one. I pray divine wisdom. The Lord that released wisdom upon Solomon. 
I pray even greater than that I release upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let it become so clear to you what to do concerning that matter. I come against every spirit of confusion. I come against every spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In fact, God is asking me to tell you that decision that is coming clearer to you. Because you are beating it to two decisions. Not know whether this one, you do, this one will, you will do. But in the midst of the two, there is one that is so strong in your mind. God is saying, obey that. And I see you having victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Obey that one that is very strong. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight. Bless be your holy name. Thank you for the bread as we eat it straight in the name of Jesus. Come against every weakness in that body. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Father, we give you praise tonight. Lord, we give you glory. Bless be your holy name tonight. Thank you for taking us far. Thank you for blessing us with your word. Yes, May we not be the hearer and not be the doer. Yes. Thank you. I release upon us the strength to praise you. Amen. Lord, I will not be weary despite the situation. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray tonight. The Father, in Jehovah, the grace for me to pray. The grace for you and your presence going to reign upon us. In Jesus' name. And Lord, in unity tonight, we stand in agreement. Decree, Lord God, as believers. La legge be an end to the war in Ukraine in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, Lord, the Bible said the heart of a king is in your hands. Lord God, you're over. You turn it to any direction you will it. The art of putting is in your hands. And those who go behind him, supporting him, Lord God, you're over to come home with the war. Father, we decree it. Father, peace in the name of Jesus. Mm. Lord God, we ask, Lord, arrest his heart in the name of Jesus. We arrest your heart tonight, putting and all that that are behind you in the name of Jesus. We release peace upon you. We we'll pray this to God because we cannot keep quiet. Lord God, Jehovah, Father, we see, if we do not need about this opposing, it comes to where we are. So, Lord God, we arrest it on time. Peace upon Ukraine in the name of Jesus. That lies to God be saved. That innocent life be saved. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says you cause war to cease. Where has the world begin to cease? The Bible says, Out of Zion shall come forth the Lord. We are the Zion. We release laws tonight in the realm of the spirit. We know that nothing happened in the physical realm without first of all settled in the spiritual realm. For this war to have broken out was as all well, things that have been done in the realm of the spirit. And so in the realm of the spirit, we go tonight, Lord God, King of Hell, to lose everything that we're tied. That Lord, the, the led to this Ukraine war. And three single King of let that we are loose and let the Lord will begin to tie them. In the name of Jesus, He begin to fall into place. We are praying unity tonight. Thank you, Lord, for peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all tonight. Thank you very much for being a part of tonight's video. Remember, bless. See, I come across your way next Wednesday. Thank you. Bye for now.